All right, so here's the former UFC lightweight champion, Frankie Edgar, beat BJ Penn to win the belt back in 2010. Competed at featherweight for a while as well, but this was really a guy, DC, who popularized competing at the natural weight before it became all the rich. Yeah, he just didn't want to cut weight. He told me also that because his kid wrestles, he won't make his kid cut weight because he doesn't cut yeah. weight. Why should he make him do something he won't do? But he fought where he felt most comfortable. He was not draining himself. And by not draining yourself to get on the scale, Frankie was able to fight with a pace that a lot of those 155 pound guys could not match. Frankie's a phenomenal wrestler, wrestled at, the at Clarion University, coached at Rutgers University, but has developed striking under Mark Henry that is as good as anybody in the organization. And when you bury him, what does he do? He comes back and shows you a vintage performance. Got knocked out by Brian Ortega. Came back to dominate Cub Swanson just about six weeks later. Frankie Edgar back on the proving ground here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Edgar is nine years the elder. The Korean Superboy will have a two-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 23 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, Frankie, the S.O. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. Only professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corner. Yeah. All this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Big off Westland. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Real quick leg kick. 
Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Shot is blocked there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just misses with the straight right. Hands high, hands high. Yeah. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. educated jab it's just like boxing the most thrown punch and the first one you learn is a jab and in mma guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon oh that's a hell of a kick right there he told us thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight and that is certainly a step in the right direction he is landing that strike very effectively trying to go to the body here unable to find the target Missed with that attempt. Oh, the Superman punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Edgar gets caught with that punch. One, two there by Chor. Yeah. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge flush. by this young man. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Keep your hands up, use your footwork now. It's okay, use your footwork. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, Superman punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Throws the right hand there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Edgar gets caught with that punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Edgar's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Good, keep the pressure on him. You're doing great. Oh, big punch lands. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked okay, about his powerful it. kicks, how he attacks all go, sides guys, of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Punch over the top. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Let's go, grind on it, push, push, push. Oh, 
Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Chor. And he continues to work the body here. Body kick now by Chor. Nice punch here. Back and forth we go. Slips the punch. Nice straight right lands. Over and over, he landed that big body kick. Punching block. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus fits in his opponent. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Edgar. Frankie just misses with that left hand. Effective strike there by Shore. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice one, two there. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Edgar's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Good work. Just out of range with that right hand. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Both fighters throwing heat now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Hands higher, hands higher. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. A nice shot to the body there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Edgar gets caught with that punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, Mark Henry talked a lot about getting back to basics, and Frankie Edgar's boxing looks really sharp here tonight, DC. Oh, nice. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Blocks the shot. Ooh, what a punch. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, effective use of the jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets Are underway. His strong right. leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Big kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. How good is that right hand? Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, nice jab by Joy. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands through the middle. Edgar's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Look at him whip his hip into that kiss. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, and he caught the kick. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. here he is trying to keep the judges out of it lighten up his opponent left and right try to establish that jab great punch trying to hammer that lead leg right to the target See if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, big left hook there. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. And mixing it up beautifully. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Good stick. Back and forth we go. There's the right hand for Frankie Edgar. No give on that leg. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Choi. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, he 
has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Connects with a right. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Edgar's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. Plus right hand is true. And misses with the right hand. in some body shots. exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by not out, the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. <laughs>